So this is the interface for the farm record sheet we talked about. Now I'll show you how you would, it works and how you can make use of a record sheet so that it will be effective for your farm. Now you can use it in your system like I said earlier and also your mobile device. So this is the record sheet. Hello and welcome back to Cap Fisherman Enterprise. You are welcome to the channel. And today we are bringing you something that is valuable for every farm. Now it's a device that helps solve the issue where so many farms are facing the challenge of the adequate record keeping in the farm. Now you've heard the situation where farmers will tell you, yes, I stock my fishes. And you ask them, when did you stock? And they'll be like, I, I don't know the date I stock these fishes. And some will tell you, oh, I've fed maybe like 100 bags, I've fed like 50 kg. There is no appropriate record on how many kg they have fed, how many bags they have given the fishes. So with this device that we are introducing, it helps solve the issues. Thereby, you just impute the dates you bought the fishes and it gives you the accurate number of days your fishes have stayed in the farm. And also, it does the calculations for you. Now you say if you bought the first fishes, you just write it, put the quantity you bought and also the price and it does the whole calculation for the farm for you. So it saves you the stress. Now, if you are not the one managing the farm, you are outside your farm, you can be anywhere and also monitor the progress at the farm. Now, you stay at, with your mobile device or with your laptop, you can do the whole calculation in just a, a click. So, you just tell the person buying the feed, send me the receipt, he imputes the, the amount of the system and it does the whole calculation. Now, the beautiful thing about this device, also it does, it takes uh, also the other expenses at the farm, your fueling, your salary payment, and other miscellaneous you're going to be spending at the cycle. So once you input all, it gives you the grand total. So at a click, you can just know how much you have been spending in the farm. So when it comes to your sales, it's easy for you to make adequate sales. You just look at the device and it shows you, I've spent maybe a million naira to train these fishes, and how many days these fishes have stayed, it gives you a better judgment on when to sell, how to sell and over how much you are going to sell the fishes. And also we have the, the, the second one that tells you on your daily feeding. Now, how many bags you feed per day, you just input it. So it comes with the electronic one that works with your phone or your laptop and it's also printable. Yeah, you can use your pen to write it and do the calculation yourself. So that's the beautiful thing about the device. So shortly I'm going, going to show you how it works and put your, your name of your business it's a business name let's say it's catfish farm catfish farm enterprise that's your business name now it can be greg farms it can be chukasen farms so you put the name of your business and you put the month now we are in the month of april that's why april is here 2022 so now this sheet can be used monthly now this is the electronic one that works with the phone or your system so you put a date but if it's a printed version you, you want for your farm you, we can make that available for you send it to you print it out then this stuff will be handwritten but the difference is that the one using your phone or your system does all the calculation automatically you don't have to start doing any calculation yourself so you see how it it work now then on the date of purchase we want to know how many days your fishes have stayed so that at a click of the finger you can know ah my fishes are how many days old so let's say you bought your fish the first of january 2022 you put a first you put january let's say the date is first then 2022 then you okay it and you see you go to the column for days 108 days that means the fishes are 108 days and 30 days make up a month, some are 31. So from this, you are knowing that your fishes are 3 months and some days. From this, 3 months and some days because we are already in the 4th month. So 3 months and 2 weeks that the fishes have stayed. Then, the beautiful thing about this is also if you want to know how many number of bags 
to feed your fishes within the period of the farm? How many number of bags will I feed the fishes I'm buying? How many kg of feed will they consume? Now, you just put the number of fishes you bought. For example, you bought 1,000 fishes. So once you put the 1,000 fishes, it shows you immediately how many number of bags of feed will feed 1,000, which is 67 bags. And for the number of kg of fish you are going to be using, is 1,000 kg. So 67 bags gives you 1,000 kg of feed. Now, for someone that wants to do, let's say, 3,000 fishes, it gives you 200 bags. If you are doing 10,000 fishes, it gives you 667 bags. So that's the best part of this record sheet that you're seeing. So it does the calculation for you. You just put a number of fishes, put the date you bought the fishes, and you get the estimates for what the number of bags you're going to be using. And from this estimate, you can calculate, okay, what's the current price of feed? And you check the amount that you're going to be spending for feeding the fishes. Now, we'll move on to the second aspect of the record sheet. So this is just the inventory. Now the second aspect has to do majorly with the feed you bought. Let's take for example, you now the 67 bags, you want to be calculating the prices so that you know how much you spent on your farm. Now for the, let's say the first time you started with blue crown, blue crown feed, and let's say you bought three mm, or 2 mm and you bought 5 bags now if let's use an estimate of 10,000 per bag so that is will be 50,000 so 50,000 then the next purchase you did you bought also maybe blue crown again now and this time you bought a blue crown of 3 mm not the 2 mm again maybe 3 mm and you bought the 3mm of 10 bags and if the 3mm of 10 bags for let's say we are using 9000 i know the price of feed is above this and it changes so we are just using the price so you put a price which is now 90000 so this is 90000 then you bought the 4mm blue crown you see you're still sticking to the blue crown feed for 4mm size you bought 20 bags. Now you bought a 20 bags of the 4 mm. So if we we'll say the bag is 8,000, so the 20 will be 160,000. Or 160,000. Yeah, so that's the quantity. Then you move on to the next purchase of CCMM Blue Crown. And you say that you bought 30 bags now for the Blue Crown. And if a bag, let's say a bag go for 7,000, we are just using a price for the estimate. And for the 30 bags, it will be 210,000 for the 30 bags. Okay, I didn't put the 6mm here, 6mm. Then the next you get, you got your blue crown of 9mm. So this can be inputted weekly as you buy, you just write it on the sheet. So the blue crown of 9mm, you bought 40 bags of each. Now let's say we assume that each of the bags of the blue crown for the 9mm Let's say we, it was being sold for. Okay, let's say it's been, we bought a bag at 6,000. For the 40 bags, it would be 240,000. So now, these are the total price for what you spent buying your feed. Now, just as we scroll down in our sheet, you see that yeah, the number of uh, bags of feed you bought was 105. And you spend seven hundred and fifty thousand in buying this feed. So if you are, if you are not a Nigerian, maybe from different parts of Africa, and the, yes, if it's dollar, any of the currency you use, it will show you the number of feed 
you bought and also the total cost now you go that there's another aspect that talks with other costs other expenses like fuel for your generator to power the gen salaries of your worker so you can see include it okay the, in the month of um april we spent ten thousand on fuel we paid salary of thirty thousand there might be other expenses like the utility bill different expenses can come in you just have to include it and if you go down it's also giving you the total of this is now the total of your expenses the total expenses you make for the fuel and the salary and now the grand total the grand total is seven hundred and ninety thousand, which is an addition of your total expenses plus your expenses of feed so you see it gives you the hundred and seven hundred and ninety thousand is what is spent in the farm now what's the amazing thing about this now this is something you can use monthly once the month is over you can uh, clear off the place you inputted figures and you restart all over again like i said you look at here i say complete the non-shaded field only so only where you're putting values are the places that that are not shaded the shaded places will do this calculation on its own so that's for the farm record sheet so this one shows your inventory now we have the second sheet that talks about the feeding record now this second sheet if you can see is a bit different it talks about a feeding records for the fishes So for the second sheet, here we have the weeks, maybe for the month of April, you put your business name here also. Now for the month of April, we have week one, Monday to Saturday. Now, and also the number of maybe kg or bath you gave. Maybe on the Monday, the person at the farm fed maybe one bag. On Tuesday, the same one. By Wednesday, they started eating two bags per day. Now, if it's not up to a bag, he can use the kg column to also include how many kg, maybe a bag and 10 kg. Maybe a bag and 20 kg. So you can put 30 kg. Now, 30 kg is, is still the same thing as two bags. Yeah, so for one bag is 15, and this should be 15. Yeah, so that's for the number of kg they fed. So this can continue up to the Sunday and you go to the week two, you see the same thing, week three, week four, and up to the last week, week four for the month. So if you go down, you see the column for the total, how many bags they have been eating for that month. They ate 60 kg and four bags. So once this can be used for the record for the month on the feeding okay i'm looking so it's easy to know okay in a month i fed 100 kg i fed 20 kg i fed 10 bars you can now make decisions to know how far whether you are maybe in the next cycle to know how many how to do your budget for the farm so this for the system view you can use it with your computer and also you can use it in also your mobile device so it's a good one so if you want this record sheet so you see the number displayed on the screen you send us a whatsapp message and there's also a link in the description of this video you click on the link our whatsapp number is there to make the purchase for the record sheet and it will be sent to you so send us a message on whatsapp and we will we'll give you the direction on how to make the payment for the record sheet so have a wonderful time in the farm business